Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna install a relay that it will control the high speed fan of my C5 Corvette. <laughs> I'm in a lot of uh, forums uh, on uh, Facebook, uh, Corvette C5 forum. I always see people uh, worries about the high temperature of our C5 uh, when when uh, the, it passed the limit of the 220 uh, Fahrenheit. Uh, people starts to freak out, but you have to know that the engineer of the C5 Corvette. Uh, have a plan for the LS1 and the LX6. Uh, the high speed fan will turn only at, uh, I think it's 230 or, or 235 uh, Fahrenheit. So I buy a kit, they call Cool It H2. There's a relay that I'm gonna replace with this wire relay. I'm gonna send the wire into the cabin so with the switch, I'm going to be able to turn on or off the high speed fan. So you have two options. You have, like mine, a wire option. Trust me, don't be intimidated by this wire. Uh, it's a very, very, very simple installation. And you will get the wireless uh, option with a remote control. But I don't want to have a remote hanging on the inside of the Corvette. And I don't know where I'm going to stick it. Prefer hard wire like this and it's a very very simple installation i'm going to show you all in details what i done with my system so first you want to determine it's if it's a h3 or h2 you have to go inside the hood remove this fuse cap and you want to go to the relay 43 uh, this one if the notch is the, is on this side you know that it's a h and if this notch is on the other side right there, you know it's a H3. So in my case, my Corvette is a 97 and I know that it's a H2. So first, I'm going to remove this relay. The relay, it's the part it sends the power to the high speed fan. Even if you install the relay that I installed with the switch, the computer is going to be able to turn on automatically the iPhone speed if it reached the 230. So in this case, we're going to be able to have the computer turn on the fan and with the switch inside the cabin, you're going to be able to turn it when you want it. So now, I'm just before installing the relay, you want to make a, a quick test to know if it works well. So this is the new relay, like you see, it's a H2. I'm just gonna insert it like this. And after that, you got the blue wire. The blue and the uh, this roll of wire, you got just one connection. So you're gonna plug it into the blue wire. Basically the blue wire, what it does, it just send the power to the, the relay to tell, okay, turn on the fan. So this blue this blue wire is just what determines is the if the the relay got to be on or off. Okay, after that you got a white the white wire is gonna be um, the wire to control a light. So you're gonna have this little light with the kit. So it's just simply plug like that. But you're not we're not gonna plug it right now. We we just want to make a test. But this why this white wire gonna be for the the Temwen light to tell you if inside of the cabin the fan is on or off. So you're gonna be able to know it. But back to our initial test. So the relay is plugged. I plug the blue wire and after that you're gonna have the black wire. The black wire is black for one reason. It's a ground. And you don't want to put the red wire of the positive on this black ground. You always want to keep it ground. Those wire doesn't control the positive side, but the, the negative side of the, the relay. So you don't want to put 12 volt there. You just want to put the ground. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start the car and I'm going to touch the negative terminal of my battery. And now I'm going to be able to turn on and off the, the switch to control the fan. So we're going to know if it works well for us. I'm going to touch the ground with the black wire of the switch. 
I don't know if you hear, hear it, but I hear the fan kicks. So now I switch the, the, the I turn off the switch and I hear the fan close. So again, it start again. So we know that the system works. I let the the relay there. I'm gonna cut this detail wrap. Okay, what you want is to run the wire between those two uh, fuse. So now I'm just gonna make a little notch for the wire. Can came off, came out of the box, and now we are ready to put back the fuse box like this. Be advice, you don't want this black wire attached to the relay to touch any positive. Okay, so keep this wire away from any source of positive like the battery right there. So now I'm going to send the wire of the relay inside of the cabin. To do that, we are, we're going to remove the battery and remove the terminal of the battery. I got this uh, very useful tool. It's ma explicitly made for the, um, uh, the those kind of batteries. It's a ratchet tool. Uh, I bought it on a Canadian Tire. It's a Canadian uh, uh, store, but you probably gonna be able to find it on Amazon, something like like that. So now the terminal are off. I'm gonna remove the. The 13, I think it's a 13 millimeter uh, bolt to keep out the battery. So I remove it. So now I can get up the battery of the car. So now that the battery is removed, you're gonna look just right there. Then you see this this red wire with this uh, rubber gourmet. This rubber gourmet connects inside of the um, the cabin there. So <clears throat> now you go to the passenger footwell and open the trap of the fuse like this. And you're gonna remove the panel. We got two plastic pins, one there and one there. You're gonna pull on that to remove this panel. You can remove the light if you want to get more space. You're gonna see this black, big black wire. You're gonna have to remove or pull on this kind of rubber panel right there. So once you remove this rubber panel, you're gonna see this red wire. We're gonna drill a hole just upper of this big rubber uh, seal so we're gonna be at the left of the wire the wi red wire and up to the this big wire bunch So we're gonna drill a hole with 516 drill So the kit come with a gourmet so we're gonna drill the hole right There just under just upper of this big wire bunch. So we're gonna drill a hole right there. There's my drill. It's just a fiber glass, so it's very easy to drill. And now you're gonna pass the wire through the hole you, you done and pass the gourmet like this. So first I'm gonna pass the wire to the hole inside of the cabin. Okay, it's I, it's harder with the wire inside of the gourmet, so I'm gonna try to install the gourmet first. There's the black wire from the relay that we passed to the to the firewall, and now it's the wire they give us with the kit. So first, you got a fuse box like this. And after that, you're gonna have the ground, okay? So now, for the ground, there's a screw right there, a plastic screw, they said in the instruction, but in my case, I didn't have. 
So I'm gonna take the small screw they give with the kit and tight the wire through the body of the PCM. Like this. So now this this uh, screw is our ground because the PCM is grounded. The body of the PCM is grounded. So now it's very tight. So after that, we're gonna remove the fuse panel right there. You have to take the cover with the hole up and you're gonna see the fuse number 22 is right there. Use this one, right there. Okay. And after that, I'm gonna put the replacement fuse they got, they give us. So, like this. Put back the fuse box. Okay, so now the wire, we can put the wire there. And those, all those black and red wire I have nothing to do with the insertion we done today. It's just the excess of wire for my LED. Now we got the bolt wires. We got the wire for the relay and the wire from the fuse box. We can run the wire through there. Like this. And same thing for the fuse. The fuse wire. The question is where you're gonna install the, um, the switch inside of the cabin. You have a mini option. So the option I choose is to buy a dual cup holder like this. I'm gonna put at the left of the passenger. So I drill a hole right there to install the switch. And I'm gonna drill a hole next to the switch for the, the little light they give with the kit. <clears throat> my switch and my fan switch is installed and the LED to tells me if the fan is on too. Now what you're gonna do first is gonna be to plug the wire the, the white wire uh, with the white wire like this. Next, you have this white connector came with the kit. So you're gonna put the black wire into the second pin. Like this. So you, you see the, the black pin is on this side. And after you're gonna do the, the same thing with the third, uh, sorry. Yes, the third. So now you're gonna take the red wire to the third slot just have to insert and as you see you got the two pins this is gonna be connect with this black fuse you got I'm back with my cup holders with all the switch I'm gonna first collect my LED setup but th those two wires have nothing to do with the installation of today so what left it's the plus the white plastic connector from the fuse box it feeds the power to the lights to tell us that the fan is on. Uh, okay, so it's installed like this. And now the only wire it left is the blue wire from the switch and the black wire from the relay inside of the, the fuse box inside of the wood. Okay, so now everything is plugged just have to insert like this and you're gonna have the switch and the little light like this to tell you that the um, the fan is on or off I have many options where you can install the setup of the switch but right there the, the wire is uh, long and off and you can also install the switch there but you have to remove the console and uh, they suggest to install the switch uh, at the top of in this place at the top of the trunk release 
but in the in this case I, I really like this option because I didn't have to drill all inside the factory plastic so now the moment of truth I'm gonna start the car oh so as you see the switch is off when I turn it on it works it lights up and if I turn off the ignition everything is off by itself so let's see if it works the switch is off I'm gonna turn it on it works pretty well so this is it for today I'm really happy with it it works well it works well uh, I hope it helps you um, I'm sorry I cannot uh, show you how to install the system with the remote control so with the remote you have no wire to run through the, the car you just have to remote communicate communicate with the model that you install somewhere there but I know that uh, the guy from uh, my Corvette Live uh, have make a video on uh, the Coolit system uh, with the remote that you can control without a wire inside of the cabin. So I hope you enjoy it. I hope it's clear for you. And uh, if you like the video, please leave me a thumbs up, subscribe, leave me a comment, anything. It's always appreciated. So thanks for watching and have a nice day.